Just me putting tiny little pumpkins on her hat. Kind of weird. <laughs> like the equivalent of little baby face on your accessories. Eh. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've talked to the camera. Forgive me. So this is not originally the video I was going to do for this week. That video will be pushed to next week. We ran into some housing and credit stress that I literally could not focus on anything else. So this week I just wanted to do something that was going to make me very happy. Something that makes me very happy is pumpkin people. Is it fall yet? No. Autumn is a state of mind. And if you're one of those people that says, it's not even September yet, I have a video for you right here. Just for you. For everyone else who understands the direct correlation of autumn time and serotonin, this is for you. Okay, so last year, pursued my dream of becoming a pumpkin person. I attempted to make a paper mache head with a little vintagey outfit. She was very lumpy. Honestly, I thought I had completely failed until I put the video and photos out and everyone was so stinking supportive. So since then, I have not touched my pumpkin head. Um, I will retrieve her hold on <laughs> now since the last time you saw her <laughs> she has developed quite an underbite i foolishly tried to be relevant on tiktok i don't really want to talk about it oh ow <sighs> why am i out of breath from going upstairs for this week i wanted to give her a little facelift. She looks like she melted. Since I already have this base, we should give it a try. I don't know if it's gonna work. Basically my plan obviously is to make a Victorian outfit. I have a hat that could work with it. Could get some autumn foliage and put it on top. We're going to rehaul this. You're scary. Are you dead? Arachnophobes. Shield your eyes. And that was your warning. <laughs> Look at him. Little spider. I'm going to put you outside. Unless you're dead, because you haven't moved. Be gone. Nope, he was alive. Okay. I feel like at this point I should just make a subcategory of content. Letting my house bugs outside. First things first, we do need to get the supplies. I want a cookie. Thank you. To the craft store. Success. Let me show you what I got. A bunch of foliage for the hat. A lot of modeling foam. This. Spray paint acrylic. Mm. I have fabric coming for the skirt. We'll do that on a different day. But for now, I wanted to get started on her noggin without further ado. <sighs> okay. Mm. This stem needs to come off, so. I'm sorry, my creation. Let's give it a go. So I'm hoping that I can just apply the foam on top here, but I am not super confident about that, so. Oh yeah, telly ho. Stay puff marshmallow man, it's so mushy. Oh, this is gonna take a while. I want the ridges, okay, all right. I want the ridges to still be kind of prominent, which I don't feel like I really accomplished the first time around. I'm not gonna add as much modeling foam. There, keep it nice and thin. Still pretty lumpy. All right, well, you get the idea. Here we go. point that I started to feel like that one scene in Mrs. Doubtfire. Luck be a lady. <laughs> Happy nightmares. Well, I'm thinking my uh, pumpkin lady projects just might be cursed. It is what it is. I ran out of modeling foam. Out of one, two, three, six. Only three of them actually had workable model foam and the rest were 
big hunks. But yeah, I don't know. She's um, kind of scary. <laughs> a little bit of a dumpster fire. This all has to dry and then we're gonna sand this down. So that's kind of the problem with modeling foam is that you can't blend it into each other like you can regular clay. So it kind of just creates all these textures which aren't great. We will continue tomorrow. See you then. Good morning. You're looking cursed. <sighs> oh, not a single one of you can convince me that this project isn't cursed. <clears throat> Coist! You know, I ran out for what I thought was going to be quick errands this morning to get some quick seal. My local store didn't have it, so I had to drive and wasted a few hours of my time. I made her a little bulbous on the bottom, huh? She's got like a growth. Oh well. I ended up getting Model Magic to make the stem and then I got some quick seal that will fill up some of these cracks and we can use water to smooth it down. All right. Okay, I'm gonna try the quick seal instead. Hope that I can salvage this. Quick seal is really good for foam smithing. Basically, you just glob it on there, fill in all those cracks, and then you take some water on your finger and smooth it out. And it's very intimate. Oh my. Now, this process took quite a while because she is very large. <laughs> so, I spent the majority of this day patching, pumpkin patching. <laughs> Several bad puns later. I also made her stem out of Model Magic. Model Magic is so easy to work with and super cheap. I just added the wood grain with an X-Acto knife. Super easy. I initially wanted to add curls, um, but it, it looked really weird. So I ended up scrapping that idea and I just made little curls framing her face. All right, artichokes, here she is. Today, we are gonna get to work. Moment of appreciation for what my bangs are doing this morning. What? Because I guarantee you, these will not last five minutes. It's a uh, stormy, rainy day out. So if you hear Frodo causing a commotion upstairs, that's because he hates thunder. He's ready to throw fisticuffs. This is all dry, I believe. It's not perfect. She's a little lumpy, but so am I. I'm hoping that once we spray paint it, some of this texture will go away, but also I'm not gonna be too bummed. Some pumpkins have lumps. What's your lumpkin? Now, unfortunately, because it is raining outside, usually I do my spray painting outside, but I can't do that. So I'm gonna set up a little spot on the other side of the basement and attempt to spray this baby down. And then we can get started on the skirt and then eventually put the flowers on the hat, finish up the painting when this is done. Good stuff, we got a lot to do today. <laughs> For the skirt, I wanted to do sort of rust orange, a brown stripe at the bottom, but I ordered some orange linen from Fabric Mart and it looked like, excuse me. It looked like it was gonna be a rust orange, but when I got it, almost like a, a dark salmon, more, it has more like pinky red tones than it does brown tones, I guess. I don't want to waste this fabric, so eventually I think I will be dyeing this. Uh, Coist! At the thrift store, you may have seen that I got this yellow fabric. I don't know exactly what it is. 100% polyester. Well, that sucks. It also says flammable. I'm still gonna use it. It doesn't feel like polyester, if that makes any difference. Usually polyester just kind of feels gross. 
a linen-y, velvety kind of material. I got a bunch of this at the thrift store and then I went back a few weeks later and they had more thrifted bed sheets for the stripe at the bottom because it kind of has that already. Now for the method of this, I went back and forth. I do have my skirt pattern, which I use for a lot of skirts and you're probably sick of seeing it. It's just one singular shape and then I end up cutting out like eight or 10 or 12 panels. I'm almost wondering if I should just go tried and true rectangle and gather at the waist. A lot less sewing on my end, which is always nice. And it might be easier to put the horizontal stripe, you know? So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and hopefully we can get this whipped up. I feel like it's been a while since you've seen her beans. Beans check. <laughs> Look at those beans. All right. Let's get started. So taking a method I learned from the lovely Morgan Donner, I basically just took all of that fabric, tied it around my waist, pulled the tops up so that the hem was where I wanted it to sit, and then I marked generally where that waistline laid. Lied? I went in and finessed those dots a little bit. They were all 14 inches from the top, so I did that and then connected them. kind of ended up doing the same thing for where I wanted that brown stripe to go, just marking off the entire bottom, cutting out the stripe itself from that bed sheet, which worked out perfectly, and then I sewed as close to that line as I could. Then I stuck those two pieces of fabric together, as always, the most ladylike sewing position. I clearly ooze posture and grace. It reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. No, that's a black stripe. Maybe it just looks like I'm about ready to cosplay as a number two pencil. Now we hem. Aside from hemming, I also whipped up a quick waistband. That is a lot of W's. <laughs> so after pressing and folding over, it looked something like this, and the skirt is going to be gathered in between there or pleated, I should say. Uh, I do this mostly out of laziness because gathering is the bane of my existence and this just saves me a step. You could get very mathematical with your pleats if you want to, but I don't care. <laughs> and I hereby dub this floor troll position the Sphinx. all the finishing touches on the skirt tonight off camera we can get started on the hat I wouldn't say it's particularly Victorian more of a kind of 1940s style I don't know I'm thinking if we add some interest on the top it'll look a little bit more antique um, I'm just gonna kind of pop these babies off I think do what I think looks good and then we're going to use the trusty old glue gun because I am a professional milliner. Obviously. Let's give it a shot. I'm just gonna make like a bed of hot glue only on the ribbon. Don't worry. I'm already getting strings everywhere. Go up, go! Some berries in there. One very specific thing that Tommy and I always quote, I think it was from the Wild Thornberries movie. There's this little like bush baby thing. He presses the red button and he goes, mmm, berry. I can eat berries. And sometimes I forget, not everyone has seen that. But does that stop my brain? No. I swear my brain's capacity for nostalgic 90s obscure pop culture quotes is quite robust. I'm not saying they're all accurate, 
It's not like my brother. My brother and Tommy, actually. They're the kind of people that can see a movie once, quote, the entire film back to you. Honestly, I need to see a movie like 20 times before I can like accurately quote it. I can tell you what a character is wearing at any given point in the movie or recognize uh, an actor, actor, actor or actress's face from that one time I saw them in one episode of TV show 10 years ago. Movie quotes are not my strong suit. Oh my God. Ooh. I have no idea what I'm doing. Reloading. Some pumpkins. Is me putting tiny little pumpkins on her hat kind of weird? <laughs> like the equivalent of little baby face on your accessories. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> A casual look. All right, well that took way less time than I thought it was going to. So I guess we can switch over to painting. Let's go. Let's paint this nightmare. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing, but basically I tried to lighten up the lumps and then in the ridges go in with a darker color. And then I painted the stem. I am fully aware of what this looks like. So naturally here is an even closer view. I really struggled with the face. Just everything I was doing made her look super creepy. I started off with kind of realistic lips and that was giving me the heebie-jeebies. Tried to add some freckles to make her look less menacing. Needless to say, I was not completely happy with my creation, so I did end up doing a few more fixes before the reveal. Wrap up time. <sighs> okay. Tommy, are you? Oh boy. Oops, I did it again. Made a demon pumpkin. Bye bye. Guys, <laughs> I swear I'm not making nightmare fuel on purpose. I really thought that I could make her cute. Oh, she's so scary. This is the last face you see before you die. I know that you're usually your own worst critic, and I tend to be really hard on myself when it comes to projects, but also, it is what it is. I had fun, even though it was a little cursed and I did have to run a few more errands than I would have liked to. I, you know, I, whatever, it's fine. Part of me wondering if I should have just not touched the original. Feel like I shouldn't have covered up the mouth. She's just real creepy. It was a little worse last night. I did go over the lips and change the lip style into something smaller. I opted for more of a over the garden wall kind of lips, but I think I made them too small and they don't really show up well in video or photos. <sighs> it's it... <laughs> From certain angles, she really does look like a pumpkin. So that's good. It's just really the face that gets me. She's so scary. <laughs> I tried. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to not be hard on myself. You are adequate. As a creator of Nightmare Fuel Pumpkins, I get to decide what she should look like and maybe, maybe this is exactly what I was going for.
I think the hat came out freaking adorable. My favorite part of the project is absolutely the skirt. I still have a few finishing touches to do. Oh, she's so pretty. I am gonna wear this all the time in fall. So honestly, this whole project was worth it just for this. Just don't put me next to an open flame. If you know what I'm saying, because I'm very flammable. Not super hot which is what I was a little worried about with it being polyester. So that's good. I feel like a little sunflower. That's it. <laughs> ah, happy August. You know, I made a joke about people saying it's not even September yet in the beginning of this video. What did Nicholas say to me as we were taking these photos? My own husband. Isn't it a little too early for Halloween? I am gonna pace myself a little. The next couple of videos aren't really gonna be fall related, but once September hits, Autumn Rachel will have risen from her tomb. Prepare thyself. But yes, this was just a quick little taste before Autumn hits. When Autumn hits. You're welcome for the nightmares. Next week I have a big old project that I've been working on, a collaboration with one of my favorite artists, so stay tuned for that. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload almost every Friday. And we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Meemaw, come here. You know how they say that like your your pet has their given name and then just like 50 other nicknames that came out of nowhere and spiraled out of control? So I don't think Binks actually knows her real name. It's either Kitty, Meemaw, Girl. So, it's like one piece of hair. Did I get it? I have fabric. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. Battery exhausted. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. Okay. Meow. Oh, meow. I hear everything. It's like in the ocean.